Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. How this Utah singer from the middle of nowhere ended up on American Idol. Cabrian Richens still has a hard time believing that she made it on American Idol, especially when she considers the obstacles that even just a year ago made such a moment seem impossible. On a summer day in Florida, Cabrian Richens found herself knocking on a stranger's door. It wasn't the first time she'd done this. She'd flown out from the small town of Hennifer, Utah, population under 1,000, to do door-to-door -door sales for security. And she'd become accustomed to knocking on doors and getting them slammed in her face. In a scenario that had played out several times before, the man who opened the door rejected her sales pitch but he didn't slam the door in her face. Instead, Richin said, this stranger proceeded to read her like a book. I feel like this isn't what you were sent here to do. Richin's recalled the man telling her. And in that moment, Richin's opened up. She told him how she wanted to be a singer, but didn't think it was possible because of severe performance anxiety. The kind that made her entire body go numb her vocal cords tighten and her mouth go dry. God wouldn't have given you that gift if there weren't ways to work through it. Richens recalled him saying, And that just really touched me, she said. I didn't even knock another door after that. Richens returned home with a renewed sense of purpose. She started turning toward what she had been avoiding. She began to learn guitar, write music, sing out and share her voice on social media. And over time, it gained some traction, enough to catch the eye of an American Idol casting producer. Now Richens is one of several singers competing on season 22 of American Idol. Following an audition that wowed celebrity judges Katy Perry, Lionel Richie, and Luke Bryan, the 20-year-old contestant will next appear in the Hollywood round airing Sunday and Monday. It's been several months since the show filmed its first few rounds, but even now, Richin still has a hard time believing that she made it on American Idol, especially when she considers the obstacles that even just a year ago made such a moment seem impossible. During her American Idol audition, Richin's described Hennifer as being in the middle of nowhere honestly. In a town with no gas stations or stoplights, the singer said performing opportunities were few and far between. But she embraced the opportunities that presented themselves, like performing in high school musicals with her sisters or singing the national anthem at high school games. She even tried out for Idol when the show rolled through Salt Lake City in 2019, the last pre-COVID preliminary auditions, although nothing came of it. But because of stage fright and performance anxiety, Richens also ran away from opportunities. In her idol audition, Richens shared that she was diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease, a thyroid disease that's super painful, and when it flares up, it's just crazy mood swings, she said. It's been a struggle to see the most beautiful girl in the world, who I know has more potential in her finger than I will ever have struggle to regulate her emotions, her father said with emotion during the audition. She can be going from this is the best thing in the world to turning her head towards you and saying she wants to die. A year ago, especially Richin said she struggled with her mental health and self-love. While watching this past season of American Idol with her father, he pointed out to her that she could be on the show. You don't realize how talented you are, he said. That could literally be you. But she couldn't see it. So she went across the country to do sales for a summer, where a conversation on a stranger's doorstep in Florida opened her eyes. The man's words traveled with her back home, where she began to embrace music again. Richens and her dad would go on drives through the canyon and sing. They began to share some of these performances online, which eventually caught the attention of Idol. And although Richens was still working to push through her nerves, something she considers an ongoing struggle, 
she remembered that unexpected conversation with a stranger. Every time that I get anxiety, she said, I just think about the fact that God wouldn't have given me this gift if there weren't ways to work through it.